My name is Diana Shirodokwe. I'm the lead pharmacist for antimicrobial resistance at UK Health Security Agency. Antimicrobial resistance is where microorganisms mutate or change over time and they no longer respond to the medicines that used to be able to treat them. Um, so, for example, antibiotics are used to treat bacteria, and so we have antibiotic resistance, antifungals for fungi, so we have antifungal resistance, and then antivirals are used to treat viruses, and of course antiviral resistance can occur, and then antiparasitics are used to treat parasites. I think it's really important that we move away from just awareness raising into increasing engagement and public action because awareness raising alone does not change behaviour and so by increasing engagement we give people an opportunity to move towards that opportunity for changing their behaviour. We know that um, when people, to tackle antimicrobial resistance it's really important that behaviours start to change both for healthcare professionals and also members of the public. So examples of behaviours that, um, that can be considered, for example, for healthcare professionals or those who are prescribers, they can, make, they can choose a pledge or an action that they will always use the prescribing guidelines when they are um, prescribing an antibiotic or that for self-limiting infections, they will talk to the patients about um, the self-limited nature, nature of these infections and how the patients can self-care. For members of the public, if they do have self if they do have self-limiting infections, for example, colds or flu, they can choose, they can choose a behaviour which says that they will self-care. And obviously, if they do have one, symptoms that make them worried, that they will then visit, seek advice from a healthcare professional. It has been such an honour as a pharmacist, uh, mainly because the nomination came from outside my profession and also my organisation as well. It gives an opportunity for us to share uh, the, the actions I've been taking over time and also particularly to encourage other people to become antibiotic guardians. And I guess many people who are members of the Microbiology Society are those who will consider champions. So it provides an opportunity to share with them how they can take further action and everyone can take a role, everyone can contribute to tackling antimicrobial resistance. Even the scientists in the lab are doing a great job by making sure that we detect any resistance organisms, but they can also encourage and talk to their family members and also talk to others. So everyone can be involved in um, sharing information and um, communicating. I would advise members of the society who are interested in getting involved in science communication to start. Um, there is no perfect way. Uh, in fact, I don't think I particularly thought that what I was doing was science communication in a way. Obviously it is, but I just wanted to share information. I um, watched a patient's story which made a major difference to me and from that story I wanted to be able to share with my family members but also wider and so I started small. I think there are several tools and resources now available so there's no need to reinvent the world. You know I would say um, have a look online there are resources through eBug for example there are resources through the society on how you can engage with children and young people there are resources through Antibiotic Guardian platform as well so there are lots of resources that you can use and take a small step to start evaluate and then keep going um, and also connect with others who are doing this who can give you advice on how you can go about it it's really been an honor and um, i'm so grateful to the colleagues who nominated me for this professor liz socket and dr emma banks but also the collaborations i've had with colleagues from all around the world in particular and i'm going to look at my list here to make sure that i don't forget anyone um, bsac um, colleagues in belgium health education england colleagues in nhs england and nhs improvement africa cdc and who europe also colleagues um, within my organisation, UK Health Security Agency, as we're called now, but previously we were Health Protection Agency and Public Health England. Um, in addition, obviously my family members, I'm so grateful to them. I'm grateful also to God um, for making this all possible.